Um, okay, so the show gets canceled. And then in 1985, they bring it back. Well, I I, I bring it, I take it to Herman Rush because Ali told me, stop whining about what you don't have. You know, and I said, well, I had this idea for a, a what's happening, a new what's happening. And I said, but I can't get an appointment. He says, why not? I said, well, you have to call. He said, there are no rules. There are no rules. Go there. And go over there and see that president of the, of, of Sony TV. So I, I, I follow Ali's rule. I go there, and they, they didn't ask me. They just, oh hey, hey Ernest, you know what? I said, I'm here to see Herman Rush. Oh, go right in. It. So Ali was right, you know. So I go in there and I have the treatment. And Herman Rush, uh, he was in a hurry at that time. Rush, <laughs> he was <laughs> no pun intended. But and so the secretary told me. What do you have? I said, well, this is a treatment for a new what's happening. She said, well, write a letter, though, with it. Why you think it should be, you know? So I wrote the letter. Then he sent me a letter back saying that, uh, I'm sorry, Ernie. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but there's no audience for new what's happening, you know? And then his wife, uh, 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 he told his wife about it. She said, well, do your research on it. And they found out that what's happening was more popular in reruns than it was on primetime. Hmm. And I didn't even know that. So that's when they brought it, you know, all the way back. So if I, if I had not initiated that, and that was not the cast believing in it, everybody thought I lost my mind. I was doing a letter writing campaign. I mean, uh, uh, for the uh, for the show, I went to the mayor of Gary, Indiana. I said, "Look, you owe me. You know, I've come <laughs> here help you with your campaign. I need you to have a press conference and say you're here to be the first signature." on bringing what's happening back. Uh, but the cast didn't believe it. I lost my manager, my agent because of that, you know? Uh, and I asked one of the, I asked a writer from Jefferson's, I said, man, would you help me write the script? And he said, Ernie, I'm sorry, but Amos and Andy would come back before that. <laughs> so I was, everyone thought I had lost my mind. But again, <laughs> that's why I said, Lord Jesus, I thank you, John 14. 14, 12, ask anything in God's name, in Jesus' name, it is true, you will get it. They call out of nowhere. So I'm in Compton, California at a sandwich shop, you know, and I was doing some uh, acting workshops out there. And the agent had called me. Um, my mother said that, because you know, the, the guy there, they had his number. And he said, they said, um, uh, the agents, at, my agent wanted to talk to me. So, a green vine agency and God bless them, you know, and uh, they said, Ernie, are you sitting down? I said, no. Well, guess what? They're going to do what's happening again. It's called what's happening now. It's going to be two years, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I, I just, I did have that, well, you almost faint, that fainting <laughs> feeling. Because you've been told there's no audience for it, right? Everyone think you're nuts and now it's going to happen. Yeah. So what's happening now starts off in 1985. Yes. Yeah. Now, originally, Rerun is part of the cast. Yes. But I guess uh, he wanted a million-dollar deal, and he wanted more money than everyone else. That ego. I love him. And he apologized before he died, but someone had lied to him. Mr. Cocaine, that Freebase will lie to you. <laughs> so that <laughs> Freebase, like you, you, the the yeah, you the star of the show, baby. Without the fat man, there's no, there's no show. <laughs> So Fred is going for it. And he, Ernie Byrne, I'm sorry, Ernie Byrne, without me, there's no show. So he wanted his million dollar deal. You know, it was like MDD. And he was going to uh, MTV and he was, he tried to go on the lot of Sony, you know, and they wouldn't let, he wanted to burn the contract there and all that. <laughs> and uh, so that's how Martin Lawrence ended up coming. Right. On. So Martin Lawrence somewhat replaced him, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Martin Lawrence and Ken Sagos. And um, yeah. Was that Martin Lawrence's first TV His gig? Very first thing. First thing ever. He had just done uh, Star Search, but he ah. didn't win. He didn't win Star Search. So his, his first professional gig was what's happening okay. now. Yeah. Did you see the star power early on? I didn't see that. Okay. Yeah. God bless him. You know, but Mr. Needmo. When you when you get hungry enough, Mr. Nemo will bring things out of you. <laughs> that you when you up against the wall, you know, as an artist, things will come out of you that you didn't even see. And I think that's what happened because this guy we saw later, no way, you know. He got yeah. his chops up. Yeah. 
Okay, so the show went from 85 to 88. Yeah. When it was finally, uh, you know, when it finally ended, was that a sad day as well? Yeah. Back to the drugs. Back, <laughs> back to the free base, baby. You know? Yeah. Very sad day. So you started getting high again. Getting high again. Because I, I didn't realize I had made this show like a god, you know? Because that's the second time, you know, again, when, it, when that failed, I'm back there again, you know, with the drug dealers. Because, you know, as a celebrity, you get more drugs, you know, because of who you are, you know. And if they're fans, you really get, you know. So back again, which is horrible. Because now you're feeling twice as bad as the first. Because, you know, God gave you this second chance. Now here you are back on this crack, you know, again. So 